never been introduced like that. Speed and fire and over only the floor. But thank you. So guys, uh, firstly, I think the team uh, Skyroot, who have made not just uh, Hyderabad, T-Hub, but the entire country proud. I think you deserve a much, much bigger round of applause than anybody else. <laughs> That's not loud enough. <laughs> Seriously. Like Pawan was saying, it was a goosebumps moment for all of us. Even though we may not have been directly involved in the process of rocket making, in the process of what all you had to go through over the last four years to build a rocket, to actually put it up there in space, I think uh, each of us could feel the sense of pride. Each of us could s feel the sense of uh, happiness. For each of you, I'm sure, must have felt that day. So Bharat, you know, I know you don't do much talking, but uh, when Bharat and Pawan come together, Bharat is, of course, representative of India, I would imagine, Bharat, Bharat, right? Pawan is Pawan, wind, air. So in spite of all the headwinds, when these two guys came together, it had to happen. And it happened from Hyderabad, and that's what makes me the most, most happy. So congratulations, Pawan. Congratulations, Bharat. Congratulations, uh, Padma Shri, Gyan Gandhiji. Thank you, sir. You, we had met earlier. Thank you very much. And also, I think Anand Technologies, uh, Subharaogaru, for being a valuable partner to this young team. Congratulations to the 210 family of Skyroot, which is, which should really, really, I mean, this is once in a lifetime kind of a moment. This is something that you can't recreate. This is a truly historic moment, not just for you, but for the entire Indian space tech industry. And uh, could not have happened from a better place than Hyderabad. And I remember very, very distinctly and very vividly when Jayesh, myself, MSR, Sujay, all of us were part of uh, the historic launch of space tech policy by government of Telangana. We had done it in Metaverse because this was during the COVID times. So we had done it in Metaverse, and it was the worst of its kind for a government to launch its policy in Metaverse also. So I'm truly happy, truly proud that uh, a space tech company from Hyderabad, from India, has broken all barriers. And what's even more astounding, like they say, you know, when so you don't understand something, people say it's not rocket science like MSR said. But, you know, to actually ace rocket science and to actually make it happen in the very first go, I think one of the very few companies in the world is what Pawan and Bharat were telling me to have done this across the world. And the first attempt lone mano space lo ki rocket pump like they say you know mana you don't understand shakti santarin chikodam ante ad maamul vishayam kaadu. Kabatti kudos to all of you and your abilities and your amazing amazing teamwork. It cannot happen you know with uh, two or three people coming together I'm sure. All of you together had to pull out all-nighters, had to pull out extra hours, had to pull out a lot of, lot of hardships, had to endure a lot of hardships during the last couple of years. I know these guys were doing a lot of rounds to investors, a lot of uh, rounds to uh, private equity players. They really toiled hard, both of them, to pitch and to get the right kind of investment. And your biggest shareholder is on his way. He said he'll join us shortly. Uh, Anil, of, he's come. He's coming up. Anil of uh, Greenco, my compliments to him as well, because uh, inventors, innovators need capital, need the support, especially when you're trying to break through uh, in new sectors. Because already established sectors, you know, somebody trying to ape an Amazon and come out with an arm, a similar e-commerce arm, is a relatively easy story to sell. But you're talking rockets, you're talking an Indian company from two Indian youngsters wanting to make rockets and send them to space, no, it's a difficult, difficult sell. So, Pawan, we have to learn a lot of marketing techniques from you also. Because, you know, I'm sure you've had to really... In the country, you rocket and chip and you have to put off. Indian company, Pillal Chusthana, you have to put off the wheel rockets. I don't know how many of you speak Telugu, by the way. Okay, some of you do. Actually, most of you do. So, the point I'm trying to make is very, very difficult. Thank you very much. Screen play. So like literally selling sand in a desert. And not easy. You're breaking barriers, you're breaking ceilings, you're breaking new frontiers. This is not easy job. And also what's even more important is, see, I've seen these guys before, I'm seeing them again. I've seen them two years ago. I've seen them recently, even before the launch, and I'm, now I'm seeing them again today. Even today when I was talking to them, I could feel. So your biggest uh, shareholder, your biggest uh, investor is here. Why don't you come up? Hey, come up, come up, it's okay.
I don't know how many of you seen this guy, but uh, you should see him. This is Anil Garu from Green Co. Um, so I, like I was saying, Gopi, I was just telling them, I was just telling them, Gopi, that uh, you need to find a partner who believes in the story, who needs to believe in the concept, who needs to actually believe in ideas which break frontiers. And uh, you've truly done that. My compliments to you as well in believing in their abilities, in believing in the team's abilities, and and funding in you know the much needed, giving in the much needed impetus so that they could actually send a rocket into space. But what was even more impressive was just a few minutes ago when we were chatting. So then again, my t-shirt naake then again. They said we are also getting into merchandise. I don't know whose idea that is, but it's a brilliant idea. Because lots of kids, I'm sure, will look forward. Because as children, as youngsters, you know, if you are enthused about these sectors, I'll tell you a simple story, a simple story that all of, you, all of us can relate to. So myself, Jayesh, my entire team, we were in Japan on a visit. Uh, we went to Hamamatsu. It's a small town. It's where Suzuki is headquartered. So we went there to meet uh, the chairman of uh, Suzuki, Osamu Suzuki. So we were there. We were there ahead of time, almost a half an hour, because we knew that the Japanese are very punctual. They like, you know, to uh, like the rest of us to be punctual also. Man, Indian stretchable time la kaakunda walda gar time kellal man. Kabatri munde eli kuch na akar. Kuch unte they said, uh, why don't you get a tour of uh, the museum, Suzuki Museum, which is right across uh, the office. We always started going around that Suzuki Museum. So it had everything from the first make, from the first make to the entire uh, uh, set of you know, automobiles that they have made. So we were going around all fascinated, apati car, apati automobiles, apati technology, etc. Et then I suddenly, to my surprise, I saw some very, very small kids, probably in grade 3 or grade 2. Second class pillar, third class pillar, while there is about 40 of them going around the museum. You know, an automobile museum is not boring. Why did you get all these guys here in Japan? You know what they told me? They said something very interesting. They said, Why don't you watch what they are learning? You know what they made them do? They took them to a kiosk, proper kiosk. There is multiple options. Like, you know, vending machines, Coke, sodas, Konkodak. Any uh, different different uh, snacks concordant. Atlaga could vending machine on our vending machine low. There are different options for the kids. You can customize the kind of car you want to make. Say, for instance, you want to make a Suzuki Vitara, right? So you pick the car, then you pick the color, you pick the make, you customize it, and me, me pair it on a color kawali and kawal and pictures kunte. Ultimately, a small toy with your name actually comes out of the whole thing. What it does to that young mind is. Yetla car tayar cheyali, yetla customized cheyali, a design innovation that people typically don't inculcate at a very young age. Now that was accomplished and that was done in a very subtle fashion, in a very indirect fashion by way of sending these kids through that small routine. Wal Jiptunar, why are Japanese automobiles, German automobiles so good? Why is their precision engineering so good? Ante? Chinna patnunche, our design thinking loki, chinna patnunche, what gurunchoka fascination develop cheste. People will start gravitating and moving towards it. That is unfortunately sorely missing in our system here. We believe in theory. We don't really believe much in uh, the practical exposure to how manufacturing is done, what are the new advanced manufacturing uh, facets, etc., etc. I would absolutely be thrilled and I would love to see Hyderabad as a space tech capital of India. Now, Skyroot, of course, has made us proud. Tomorrow, I'm very confident that one of your one of your colleagues and cohorts. Dhruva will also put their satellites uh, tomorrow into, I think sending them to orbit or? Yeah. They are launching tomorrow. So let's also wish them luck. Let's also cheer each other so that we actually become the space tech hub and space tech capital for India. We've already launched a space tech policy. And as you've just uh, requested, uh, Pavan, and I've promised Pavan and Bharat that they should not be sending their rockets elsewhere. They should be designed. They should be manufactured. They should be tested all in Telangana, and I promise you to get that land. <laughs> what are we calling it? What are we calling this facility? You say, you gave me a name. Per Jepe What are we calling the facility? Integrated. Integrated. 
integrated india's first india's first integrated design manufacturing and testing facility based in telangana and that will be sky roots facility from telangana i'll make it happen soonest we'll break ground so enjoy enjoy the movement enjoy the movement but there's many many more miles to go before you rest on your laurels because i think there are newer frontiers to conquer you guys have to put satellites in the orbit probably in the next one year or so you'll have to do a more, lot more you'll have to attract the attention of the globe and you'll have to continue to grow and continue to break more and more barriers i love the name sky route because of one simple reason while you may be soaring in skies you're still rooted uh, you know in 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 a place where you belong and i truly love the fact that you've done it from india and you've done it from hyderabad and telangana so congratulations to the entire family of sky route wishing you more and more success onwards and upwards thank you so that was a